Maybe I was on the right track? Hmm. Nope. Thought that was flimsy. No good. That line of logic seems too unreasonable. Alright. The other one doesn't really work. But, um... What else do we have to examine? Hmm. The room temperature is 68 Fahrenheit. The lights are set to green. Gustafius said that 50 Fahrenheit is the ideal t Is this something we've seen before? This room is too, yeah, too hot. Intriguing. Okay. Um, what am I missing? Uh, anything new to talk about, bad? Nope. Oh, well, well, maybe I'll present some stuff to you? Um, salt lamp? There's no mistaking it. This is what took the victim's life. Choosing a weapon like this. Perhaps the murder wasn't premeditated. If that's so, that woman hit the victim with this lamp on a sudden impulse. Feels like the sweet smell of desserts has been tainted by the smell of something fishy. Delicia. Are you hiding something? Duh, Lisha. Eh, <laughs> get it? Eh. <laughs> Okay. Not really sure what else we can do here. Am I missing something in the castle? No, I'm not. Okay. Um. Any thoughts? Maybe it is just the other thing. That doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna try it. Cause Delicia make fake desserts. What are her true intentions? That I don't know. Delicia used other objects besides desserts for her actions. Those are fake desserts, I know. The question is, like, what does neither one tells us anything about the other. They're basically the same exact thing. But that's kinda why I think they might go together, because they're the same type of thing, same type of reasoning, but neither one really tells us anything about the other. Like, she broke the rules, which is why she has fake desserts. She has fake desserts, because she broke the rules. I mean, it's circle logic, but I'll try them. Really? Circle logic it is. Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of delicious actions seem suspicious. Because, like, using decorations against the rules and fake desserts are the exact same thing, pretty much. I don't know. Seems, uh, silly. Yeah. Doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Just decorator. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? Fake desserts, add to court record. I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. I kind of wanted to do that already, but I guess I was skipping steps. Anyway, get out of the way. Get out of the way, Ray. Put your shields down, Ray. Okay, room temperature. Delicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 Fahrenheit? The cold doesn't agree with me, plus it's bad for body. This figure doesn't just maintain itself, you know. Uh, what figure? You mean your terrible figure? It's pretty bad, so clearly you're not doing much to maintain it, I think. Naturally, as lady, I want to look young forever. Uh, maybe look young, but not short. Which I don't know if you can help, but... I... D what? I wonder, how old Miss Delicia really is? Does it not say in the court record? Oh, wow. She's probably friggin' 70. Wait, didn't she also- yeah, she was calling, um, Gregory- Gregory and bad a kid- kids, so she must be like friggin' 60 or something. Raymond, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. This room is mainly filled with cream. 
And 50 Fahrenheit's the recommended temperature of preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now it's all gone to waste. It's like Miss Delicia didn't know. Seems lacking the basic knowledge of dessert making. Then... She's not actually a pastry chef. I bet she's an imposter, and she was trying to sabotage, um, Master's works to get somebody else to win. Maybe she was hired by, like, Gustafia or something? I don't know. Something like that. Maybe. I don't think she's the killer, but I do think she's definitely an imposter. Hmm. I thought she was supposed to be a first-class pastry chef. Fake desserts and the rule violations, and now, her lack of basic knowledge. Looks like she keeps many secrets. Hmm. Interesting. I think we have some interesting logic to look at now. Delicious so went to Miss Master's room to study his desserts. Delicious so seems lacking the basic knowledge of dessert making. This seems like a bit of a jump in logic, but... I don't know what this is even going to go towards. Delicious is a noob? Like, that's what it seems to be pointing towards, but I think she's an imposter. Alright. Really? I don't get it. What's the- what, what is this going towards? Delicious knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the world of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it, or... Or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Ah, there we go. So yeah, imposter. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts, but to tamper. So then... You say Miss Delicia is the criminal? We can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. Alright! Ugh, that fucking noise. Drives me crazy. That's enough. Investigating. Hmm. We found much more than I expected. And yet, something from before still bothers me. Prosecutor Von Karma must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then why did he let Delish Delicia be? Also, why did he let us investigate? It's got to be a trap of some kind. Firstly, I must ascertain Von Karma's true motives. Detective Bad, I would like to ask Prosecutor Von Karma something. Bad idea. But I've got business with them too, and Delicia there. Eep, what's the idea, buddy? Don't blare me like that. Seems Detective Bad also has his doubts about Delicia and Von Karma. Delicia, would you come with us for a moment? Yes, yeah, see, that's fine. What for? We have to find Von Karma. There are some things we need to discuss. Oh, we're out in the mainland. Honestly, I'm thinking it's Catherine. Like, that's my bet right now, because I think, um... I think, uh, uh, this, uh, Delisha, this fake Delisha or whatever, um, is just somebody who's, who's trying to sabotage the works. Don't think she's the killer. I don't think Master's the killer, so right now that leaves either Catherine or Gustafia. And I'm thinking Catherine, but we'll see. And there he is, Manny himself. Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. Tsk, tsk, tsk. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Delicious' room. 
Give me a second, let me adjust my tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, just one more win. Oh, it's, it's always out of balance. Oh, sorry. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Bah, that's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I am here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? I'm not so sure he's sure of himself as just refuses to believe. Uh, just refuses to let anyone else be considered guilty. Well then, aren't you going to explain why the murder weapon was known in Delicious Room? <laughs> Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Oh boy, showdown with Von Karma in the past, and we know this ends badly, so. Mm. About the murder weapon. Of course, this also gets brought to court. We know that too, so. Huh, I, I, yeah, I'm very curious where this is going. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then dis dis deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy enough to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there'd be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Whoa, that just... I wanted to wait for that whole thing to play out, but... That animation of Gregory... Oh, man. Maybe he's got a freaking broken expression where his glasses get all... Broken. I've been watching a Let's Play of Justice for All recently, and... It's funny how Adrian gets her glasses broken and just replaces them, but... Maybe that'll happen with Gregory. That'd be funny. Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? Hm. That will not be necessary. Just by me saying it means it's true. Cause I am Von Karma. What? Tisk tisk tisk. If you have an objection, say it. And say it loud and proud like me. OBJECTION! Like that. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? <laughs> 